really yeah. a willing participant in this little yeah. experiment of ours. Yeah. All right. Why didn't he call me on Skype? Seriously. Yeah. Um, so I understand you've had the chance to play through this kingdom a few times already. Um, yeah. The main thing you... is that I've come around pretty hard on the Overlord <laughs> opening. I, I think the Overlord opening is really good. Okay. Doesn't surprise me because th- Overlord u- opening usually is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, it turns out that even on a 4 3, you just develop an Overlord and you take five debt and you just kind of deal with that. Mm. At least that's what I think. Okay. Is that what I did? Oh, yeah. Play Overlord as develop. And, uh,. What am I putting in the deck? Um, probably, I can't get a Swindler, on, unfortunately. Or I can't top deck a Swindler. You're worried about colliding? Way. Yeah. Yeah. Not just worried about it, like it's almost guaranteed to happen. Uh, well, you've got a four in seven of collision. Yeah, almost guaranteed. So, 100%. Yeah. Unless you don't top deck a terminal, in which case, it's 0%, right? Uh, it's still 100%. Oh, okay. Um, man, I wish I could get a ghost town that would make this a little easier, but I can't! Well, you can. And I blame you. It just feels bad. Well, yeah. Um, so, man. I would either I... get a silver or a menagerie. I'm thinking about taking the silver. The silver helps me right now more than the menagerie does. Or you could just, like, YOLO Swindler. Yeah, Could man. do that. Nope, would have gotten punished. Oh, well, you know. See, that's not good. But it would have been, like, really, like, <laughs> YOLO. And, and the ladies love it. That's right, man. Now I top deck a Swindler... And if I don't hit your copper, I get salty. You know, Jake, after playing this several games, I'm of the opinion that, like, it matters next to nothing what the Swindler hits. Why do you say that? Because, like, it's all getting developed anyway, and, like, whatever. There there are many occasions where I voluntarily develop a copper over a curse. Like, it happened. And I I think you still give me the curse, because it makes the menageries better. Yeah, but you're a cunt. It's... (laughs) That has nothing to do with that. Okay, fine. While entirely accurate. (laughs) uh, I don't have two terminals in there, but I could if I play the Overlord as a terminal. Uh, But getting a ghost down here doesn't actually help with that. Whatever, I'll just get a menage. I have four coppers in this hand. So, like, it's not crazy. Mm. Overlord is Ironworks. Get a menagerie, and... Sweet! I love Swindler. You know, Jake, that actually hurts. Because now I don't get to play my Overlord. Yeah, I know, but I wanted it to hurt more because I turned a card into a card that you wanted less. Um... I don't know that you can really cause all that much pain with Swindler. Look, I am entitled to better results. That's all I'm saying. (laughs) Oh, well, you have a point. You are entitled to better results. So let's see. I could take another Overlord here. I could take a Menagerie. You could. Menagerie is a pretty important card. Your face is a pretty important card. The Ghost Town doesn't help a whole lot, because I've seen my terminals. Um... (sighs) Probably just take another Overlord. Check out my Menagerie, Jake. Isn't it diverse? <clears throat> yeah. Um, there goes more of my Econ. Overlord, Numero Trace. I'd love to get a Menagerie off someday. Well, I'm helping you with that, actually. Well, help faster. Uh... I don't know how I would help faster. There you go. I'm helping. Okay. Still not getting these menageries to work out. 
Oh, this is great. Um, okay, this is pretty bad. I'll take another Overlord, though. Ooh, yes. Just what I wanted to happen. Okay. Ooh, nice. You you did it. You got the first one. And the second one. Holy jeez. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, man. Um no, Oh wait, I... it if the curse had been a copper, you still would have done it. Never mind. And now you just drew a bunch of curses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, the swindler does matter. Like there's a, it does matter. Well of course it matters, or else I wouldn't get it. And I think the kingdom is a little worse for having it. I think the kingdom is definitely better for having it. I gonna disagree here, but that's I can see because I how... really don't. I don't like this aspect of the game. I um, I can see how you and others would feel that way, and that's fine. But I feel like Dominion here is just very like, or just Swindler here is just it's very Dominion, you know. It's very the aspects of Dominion I would prefer weren't Dominion. That it's may very, be true. It's very much the the aspects of Dominion that if were most of Dominion would have me not playing this game at all. Like if most of the games were Swindler games, you would never get me playing Dominion. Uh, Jake, tell me how you really feel though. Yeah, man. And now most of my coppers are curses. Yeah, isn't that uh, cool? Yeah, I think that's resignable. I do not think that's resignable. I have no econ. Like, I can't do anything. Yes, you do. Point. You have overlords. You play them as courtiers. Yeah, I don't know. Or swindlers or whatever. You can do whatever you want. Uh, Plus, like, min my menageries are pretty well shut down by it, too, because now most of my coppers are curses, so the curses are duplicates. But hey, if I keep playing Ghost Ship on you, your menageries get better. Woo! Meanwhile, you're winning the game, and I'm doing nothing. Mm. My wheels are spinning, I'll give you that. My, Let's get another mine, menagerie. Mine are spinning in a completely different direction. <laughs> like, Alright, so let's do that. And have a duplicate curse in my hand, because I got swindled too many times. And that as develop and trash your menagerie to silver uh, and be why would you sad. give me a silver because now I have duplicate curses in hand again that doesn't explain why you would give me a silver at all uh, because it's a card you can't get out of your hand and if you have another one it'll shut down your menageries and it's the worst three cost I can think to give you I would have given a workshop. Um, yeah, it's a terminal, so the workshop is probably not great to have in the deck, but I think the silver hurts a little more. I don't know. Do you have another silver in your deck? Uh, no. Yeah. The other silver missing from the supply is now in the trash. Sweet. Have a workshop. They're good for you. Do I get Overlord number four here? I don't see why not. Give me Overlord number four. Overlordo numero quattro, as they would say in Espanolo. I'd really like for this to stop happening. Um, take it the menagerie. Develop a curse. Nice. Just keep on uh, chugging along keep on, over here. Keep on trucking, man. Yeah, man. You're living the dream over there. It's great. Hashtag living the dream like a frickin' champ. Yeah, I Ooh. need some ghost towns here. Three menageries in hand. Uh, 
Damn it. No, th there's no way this doesn't matter. These curses hurt a lot. Like, these curses have, at the same time, shut down my econ from to keep me from getting ghost ship, ghost towns, and kept me from, like, and they're shutting down my menageries. Swindler hurts. I mean, if it didn't hurt, I think it would not be worth getting. So, I mean, I think the sure. games of Dominion are better when Swindler's not worth getting. Uh, I mean, Swindler's not one of my favorite cards. In fact, I would say I don't really like it, but I think it's I think it's okay here. But you know, I think it's okay if you're not the person who got all their coppers turned into curses. And then maybe okay. maybe that'll okay be you next you. game. Maybe I still won't be super okay with it because I'm like. This king, if this were just any other card, like I believe in you, Jake. It could be you. It it truly could. Uh, I think I'm just gonna play this menagerie. Nice. Did did you see I played the menagerie, Jake? Are you proud of me? Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Uh, counting that, 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 that. There you go. And this, and this, that, that, and that. I'm playing all my ghosties. My ghosty, my, my ghosty ghosts. My scary ghost. Hello, puppy. Hi, puppy dog. Hello. You have an eye booger. Un booger de eye. Hi, puppy. Lexi's been a mess this weekend. Yesterday, the neighbors were getting their roof replaced, and so, like, people were shoveling things off the roof and, like, making a bunch of noise, and it scared her. And then today, it's been, like, windy and raining. She wouldn't even go outside to use the bathroom. Well, I mean, use the bathroom isn't quite the, the way to put it, but you know what I mean. Yeah, man. Yeah. So coppers are dumb, right? Coppers are super dumb, but... Ah, eh, whatever. I, I think I'm fine not trashing the copper at this very moment. That and go. Menage no dupos. <clears throat> Action coins. Courtier, that thing. Sure. I'll go to buy. Buys are great. Menage no dupos. Aw. I won't be getting any more menage no dupos. Uh, oh, I need to get an action from this. Okay, I will get an action from this. Oh, a silver. Ugh. Uh, there, there you go, buddy. Uh, do I have three real ghost ships in my life? I think I only have two. So let's get numero trace here. And I was not looking at the VP counter to see if my VP total went up because I'm a noob.
Wait a second. Could I have won the game? No, I could not have. I don't know. Maybe. I, I really should have paid more soon. attention. Yeah, I think I'm far enough behind that this was just not going to work out no matter what. Um, I mean, I'm just going to empty the overlords on my turn unless you get points, but here you are getting points. I will at least have that going for me. Oh, so am I going to lose? Can um, you make eight? No. Oh. I might. I have zero econ. Like, I mean, I have some, but like, it's not even... You have 100% control of this game. Uh, let's swindle, trash your menagerie, turn it into a... If, if you hit an overlord with that swindler, you just win. That's true. But, um... What do I give you? Uh, probably a silver. Because it's not going to be orchard points. Your face is not going to be orchard points. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you'd have to game two workshops for those who... Yeah, I need to do that just for points. Um, and... God, do I need to take the duchy? I might. Let's take the duchy. <clears throat> it's weird because, like, normally turning curse into copper is the most tame thing that over that the swindler does to you. Like, it's the thing that you're, like, hoping happens with... when I mean, obviously, you're hoping that, that you just get to skip estates because of your opponent's swindlers. But, like, here, I think Curse into Copper is the worst thing that the swindler is doing. Other than, like, you know, if you have exactly three of something that's gone, losing it, but... Right. <laughs> there's. Uh, I mean, there's. I shouldn't get another turn, should I? You have. In here. How many ironworks is in your? You don't have any real ironworks. Yeah, it's actually it's... hard for me to get orchard points. I think the easiest way for me to do it is to gain two swindlers or two develops, which I can do. And you need to do both to actually take a lead with Orchard Points, but if that matters to you. Well, it matters. But I could just do one of them and then, like, get a duchy if that's easier than getting two of those things, which it probably will be. I could develop a gold into a duchy. So let's say, let's say I do that kind of thing. Let's say um, I courtier for dollar buy... I develop gold in the duchy, and I play three overlords as ironworkses. That should be enough, right? I can play a swindler. Let's just do that. Because it's fun. Sweet. All right. Nice. I get the bad one. You get a debt that may or may not end up mattering. Uh, usually will, I think. Really? I think, I think it it's like a coin flip. Matter. 
Because, like, you're just going to pay off debt these turns, and you'll probably get another Overlord and shuffle it in, and then, like, a couple shuffles later, you'll be like, oh, I I guess I'm now going to buy nothing, (laughs) and I have a dollar left over, you know? What? Skype, what are you doing? Oh my god, Skype is just vomiting all over itself. Hey. Okay, so Skype is the bed. And yeah. all of a sudden, your audio quality is really, really bad. Yeah, no, Skype is great. I love that we use Skype. <laughs> I know it's like the best thing we have, but man, it's terrible. Did your Did Skype use on you? Not really. Why? Hey, something happened, because like, it sounded like you were talking to headset before, and now it sounds like you're... Tunnel. All I did was hang up and call you back. That yeah. is the only. That's the only thing that happened. Mm, is that resignable? Might be. Are you trolling? Uh, it's like, I know it's not resignable in that I can't win, but it's resignable in that it makes me lose interest in the game. Really? Kinda. Like, I have zero patience for this shit. It's just like, I don't want to deal with being behind for things I can't control. No. You play a lot of Dominion. I know. I, it's like how smokers can't quit. Like, ugh. Nobody actually likes smoking either, but here we are. This is annoying. Um... Okay, play Ironworks, gain Menagerie, uh, play that as a Menagerie. Um, Overlord as sadness. What? The Overlord. Oh, I didn't even see I did that. I thought that I was getting the Menagerie effect off. Um, 
me to do workshop Gannet Ghost Town, I guess. Turn your ghost town into a workshop. Yeah. No, I really don't. I wasn't paying attention. You played a workshop. Oh, right, that symmetry. It's funny. Hilarious. I'm, I can't stop laughing. Yeah, um, let me see where my medicine is. Um, Let's I've got see. some ibuprofen here. No, dude, I need. Uh, what do I've I take again? What am I gonna? What do? I, what does the deck need again? Um, you have three overlords, right? I do. Um, let's see. I could put a a real courier in the deck. I could put a ghost ship in the deck. Um, you just punt. I, that was another thing I was thinking about, is the pilgrimage to, but like the only advantage of the pilgrimage is I don't have to think about it now. Like that's the only reason I'd be doing it, so there has to be a reason that's better than that. Well, um, I mean, you get three games out of two lives. It's good here. No, it is good here, but I have to imagine that one of these fivers is going to be better for the deck, either the ghost town or the courtier. Yeah, you have... I have three overlords too. You have like 55 overlords. I could get another overlord. Overlord number four. Man, this is a really sad village. Like, it really is sad that the ghost town's the only village. I'm surprised that militia isn't like more enticing right now. Oh, there's Manette. I mean, the defense is one thing, but, like, it doesn't defend entirely, and the militia does give you money, but terminal space is a thing. Militia with no attack is worse than a silver. Well, it's... Yellow, so it's... It's... I mean, the, the reason I'm thinking about the militia is payload, possible attack, and possible orchard points someday, but... Um, I think I am just going to get the pilgrimage. No, man, who cares? We're just going to die. Yeah, we're all just going to die anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> right, That's man. right. Tell Parker I said hi. Hey, Parker. Alright. Ask him if he still has those freaky little fingernails. <laughs> they creep me out, man. They should. Really, just his hands in general creep me really? out. Just yeah, hands, huh? it's just like weird because they're like hands. They, they look like hands, but they're like not quite big enough. And this is yeah. cool. Uh, Most things on him are smaller versions of other things. Oh, <laughs> that's his dick. <laughs> um, <laughs> sweet. Alright. Um, oh, you need to know his baby acne has started to change. Oh, oh no, cool, I workshop. hit the workshop that I gave that you. I... I don't think I've drawn that thing yet. Yeah, keep not drawing it. Um, <laughs> so, I'll get right on that. Uh, probably pilgrimage now. Yeah, actually the pilgrimage is decently high value. Oh wait, no it's not, because these overlords are not overlords. Yeah. That's annoying. I don't think it's possible to gain overlords with pilgrimage. Yeah, I didn't think about that. That has never come up for me. 
<laughs> okay, sure well, there's got to be a way that I'm not thinking of, right? There's got to be a way. Um, if there's nothing in the supply that Overlord could do, oh, I got it. it. Doesn't no, your opponent okay, played yeah. an Enchantress last turn, and you play Overlord as your first action. The that Overlord's in play. It, yeah. yeah, that would do it. Yeah, yeah, right, we did we these. Too. These are the important questions. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I wish I could take a menagerie, but I can't. Yeah, you can. So you played real play menagerie. Oh, oh, they're gone. Right. Okay. Um, <laughs> if you want to undo, that's cool. No, it's okay. I getting three things is still as good as I'm gonna do. Yeah, things are pretty great. Yeah. Actually, this is one of those boards where that's definitely true. Like, if you have, yeah. <laughs> you almost don't care what things you're gaining. You can use you can use it for something. I can. So, like the the swindler doesn't hurt the kingdom really. I think it's a stretch to say that it makes the kingdom better. I think it's a pretty far stretch. I think I mean, like, that's a matter like, of opinion, and I could, respect if you disagree. You could t you could change out Swimler and put in like Squire, and then I think the kingdom's better. Um, or like, hmm. Yeah, or you could change out Swindler and put in Fortune Teller, and I think the hmm. kingdom's better for it. So, Squire is a that would make sense. I like the fact that it's a lot more Sure, or you could make Swindler uh, Caravan. Um, actually, that would be interesting, because Caravan... You would probably go for Caravans or Menageries, and then, I like, mean, you might do a little do bit of both. But, I like, care, I mean, man. you'd get a lot of one or a lot of the other, right? Like, you're not... I'd get a lot of both, man. I don't know, man. There has to be... There'd get to a point where you're drawing your deck by enough that, like, you don't... I don't know. I love decks. Yeah. I don't, because I don't like Dominion, but... God damn it! I... <laughs> Three Menageries in hand, and I drew a fucking Copper. Workshop, Menage, Menage, Copper, Copper. That sucks. Yeah, no. This is great. I love this game. This is... It's great. I have not played a courtier yet because of how things are going. Do you like want to play a courtier? I would have loved. I would love to play a courtier. It's not gonna fucking happen. Courtiers are super great. Yeah. I mean, they're the crux of the board. Like the point of this board is to get the point where you're playing courtiers productively. I have eight unique. Oh, uh, that's delicious. And I have a work for so that's pretty cool. My next two turns are terrible. This turn's bad, and next turn is also bad. I probably resign now. Thinking about it. Hmm.
Okay. Um, let's see. Hmm. Let's try something here. It's the only way. I mean, I, I have a 0% chance of winning or a non-zero chance, so I'll take the non-zero. Uh, all right. So it does matter. Okay, let's think about this. So... I have an idea. Then I can develop the swindler into an ironworks. Ooh. Then I can lose the game that way on my yeah. own terms. There you go. You yeah. It, man. Yeah, I was Ooh. gonna lose if that didn't turn didn't work out anyway. So it wasn't really. It was that or hit resign. You committed to the... Ooh, it's a two five. Nice. That's terrible. I... Uh, yeah, mine's not much better. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is way better. Not by much. It's not a 3 4. So, my mouse is just good. It's not. It really is just like. Dude. The develop tactic of develop? Probably. I'll just be in debt forever, it's fine. That's a little annoying. Uh, I would have rather given you a curse. Um, it's true, but it doesn't have a permanent impact on your deck, and that's what I need. Of his cycle. I probably just don't um, even play this menagerie. <sighs> develop copper and develop copper and just be done. Oh wait, hang on. Hanging I, on. I was not in debt that turn. Oh, there it is.
Hi, buddy. He is watching the Dominion screen. Baby made noise, so there's a dog. Dog is gonna check on baby. <coughs> Hi, puppy dog. It's the baby. He's right here. You should show him your giraffe. What he wants. <coughs> I would rather you turn all your coppers into curses at the start of the game. Good. Get on it. I'll play this as a workshop. As a birthday present to me. Oh yeah, I heard your birthday is coming up. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, it's gonna be. If you cut me open, there will be one more ring inside of me <laughs> as of tomorrow. Wow. Nice. Yeah. So we should just do. We should talk about whatever you want to talk about on the podcast. Do you want to uh, do embargo? Well, um, <laughs> that would be funny. I actually do think we could do an embargo episode, but um, not as like a troll thing, just like basically the same stuff in the article and not like as a full topic, but just talk about things that like make embargo relevant. <laughs> That's the main. I mean, that's that's the that's ninety percent of the tip that I would want to give. Yeah. Screw that goal. It's dumb. <clears throat> um, I'm actually kind of sad about that. I shouldn't have top decked the gold. I wanted to develop it this turn. Hey. Hey. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna. Okay. that back and what take an overlord I did some right. stuff on my turn. When we... When we last left, I was staring at the average four coppers. I'm pleased to see that the quality of my hands is great. But that wasn't hard to do. I, 
I mean, I will say this is the most okay I've been with Swindler. That's, but like you said just now, that wasn't hard to do. <laughs> I feel like the fine tooth has messed with me in that I'm not playing the really as well. I have not compensated for that. It hurts, for sure. I'm just not doing a good job of that. Well, I don't know, like, what you do, like, to play around that, other you than... You have to be disciplined and play with So this is going to be action coins, probably. And... Do I keep drawing? There's no reason to keep drawing, right? No. I just want the money from this, so... I have hit your workshop three, with the last three swindlers. <laughs> Did I only get two of them? My, I mostly emptied them because I had a, enough of them and I wanted to stop you from playing Overlord as them. I don't know if that's good or it matters or what. I have a lot. That's true. But I haven't really done anything this way. Maybe I have a chance. <laughs> so you're telling me there's a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance? Get wrecked. Oh, I actually wanted that. Somebody was asking in the Discord, um, the Dominion Discord, how often you see a board where the dominant strategy is pile control, and the tricky part of the kingdom is just figuring out how to end with a point lead. And I don't know that you can say that. Well, right, I'm saying, like, that's... I mean, I don't, I don't think you can, but like, you have to assume that you're coming to it, because that's just never going to be true against someone who's playing big money. That's just never going to be true. That's true, I mean, so like, you can always play big well, money. the idea is that, the idea is that big money, if they went for it, would be too hard to pivot from to punish pile control. Like, as in, like, the pile control strategy stays flexible, and can get points to punish big money, but big money can't pivot to punish the pile control. Like, I know so, we're talking about some weird nicheness, but, like, there are things you can say that about, like, uh, the procession catacombs loop thingy. Um, so, you said the pile control is right. not the whole point of the deck is You said pivot to get points. That's just a good thing. Don't tell me what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'll tell you what you're talking about. Um, Okay. There's no dupos again. Oh, this is resignable. All right. Um. Did you see that Menagerie no dupos again? Oh snap! I'm so dead. Yeah. Um. Hmm.
You shouldn't be able to win on your turn, should you? I mean, if I do stuff, it might let you, is what I'm saying. Um... Five two might really just leave you out to dry here. Well, you play that. Well, like how? What's your other option? Like how are you gonna play well around a five two? It's really hard. I mean, yeah, you so de you five described two it. And two five are very different. Yeah. A two I mean, five. That's, that's really bad. bad. And I, I said what I thought. I think I might have been fine. I'm lucky to see my own business. I'm just lucky that I'm not there. I wish that I had known that was going to happen. <laughs> uh, because I could have won the game around that. Oh, man. If only you had done that a lot earlier. Yeah. Wait, I drew. You have one? I drew two. At your hand. E yeah, I think so. I could have uh, emptied overlords. It's semantics. Nah. Nah. Yeah, I'm just gonna win anyway. Uh, what am I buying? What do you have out? Stuff. Um. So if you can hit eight, you could and play an iron mark, so you can win the game. Wait. If you get an 8 and 2 buys and get an iron works, you can win the game. So, yeah. That feels bad. And knowing is half the battle. Knowing is
Has anyone tried just playing big money here yet? I mean, the ghost ship makes that annoying, and the militia... How, well, has anybody good at money tried big money? Like... <laughs> I mean, seriously, like, has that been thought about? Just gotta playing... Bad, right? I mean, it's gotta be bad because of ghost ship slash militia, but it's certainly... A little more straightforward than what we're doing. It's easier to see why it might be good than it's easy to see why any of this crap might be good, because this stuff is all pretty bad, right? Like, well, this is a pretty weak board, all in all. I wouldn't be doing this. No, I believe you that it's bad. I'm not, um... Implying that it wouldn't be. Correct. It shouldn't be a problem. Um. Yeah. Yeah. This is more acceptable than any other opener I've gotten today. Yeah, the best possible. Opener. Acceptable. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> uh. Yeah. No, that's fine. Thanks. Oh, nice turn. I got to pay off an additional debt, but I took an additional debt. I didn't have any other copper. This all matters so incredibly. Do I take another Overlord now, or is that just... I don't know. It's not helping me get Ghost Towns. Is the problem. That's been my tempo problem this game, is that like I get into this awkward phase. Adam, I, if I want your opinion, I'll ask you for it and then take it as what I do, which is what I'll probably be doing. Yeah, it's not really worth doing this over it. Yeah. And top decking it? Yeah. Uh. No, I did not, and I should have. Because that probably would have been better. Erg. Um, let's go ahead and take Overlord number three. It's fine. What could go wrong? You always want three Overlords ASAP. Hey, I wanted that. Wow, what a not great hand. Not happy with you for having done that. Um... Ironworks, Gain Menage. Ironworks, Gain Menage, Trash, Pay Off Debt. Sad Menage. Um. Now, at this point, we ironworks a ghost town. 
<laughs> that's strictly better than workshopping in Ghost Town. That's right. I was trying to tell one of you that. Yeah. Menagio no Dupas. Menagio with Dupas. I'm going to say that this kingdom isn't very fun on the podcast, too, and then it's just going to sound like I just hate every kingdom that we cover. I can feel it right now. Well, if it was an overlord, oh, it's, it's a not an over- then a copper. Oh, <laughs> it's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, copper, you're fucking kidding. Uh, dear copper, no. Hey, man. It sounds like it. Yeah. I better get one of these before they're gone, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, overlords, are, like... overlords are piling, and not because we thought that that was a good idea. It just speaks of how the swindlers have... The swindler thought it was a good idea. <laughs> All right. The swindler made us think it was a good idea for that. Right. <laughs> I think the main difference in our decks is you just have, like, six menageries that I don't have, right? That's, like, the only difference, right? Ish. You have, like, 55 menageries in a deck. I play a menagerie, revealing a hand of four menageries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet. Now I can play my overlord. Which is not a menagerie, it's ironworks. There's a menagerie left, I better grab it. (laughs) (laughs) I feel like if you play a menagerie and reveal a hand of more than four menageries and nothing else, (laughs) you should just win the game. Well, that's why I've been a strong (laughs) proponent of... Uh, shuffle it, implementing, like, sort of an Xbox achievement system of, like, shit that doesn't matter, but, like, cool things you can do at some point. (laughs) Um, action... I should probably get a gold. Action gold, yeah. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Get in my discard pile. Nerd. Um, I just called that gold a nerd. <laughs> yeah, fucking gold. Imagine no duper. Yeah, it's weird. The ghost town is bad at. You'd think it would be bad at enabling the menageries, but the ghost towns are helping you play terminals mid turn that do enable the menageries, so the ghost towns help you indirectly play your menagerie is it's it's like a village well it is a village and it's a village for well wait yeah whatever it's a village for your face <laughs> I 
feel like I'm behind. I don't know. I'm thinking about resigning. <laughs> you would. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about. It. Yeah, <laughs> like opening hands. <laughs> I. My <laughs> opening hand. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it could have possibly theoretically been better. I, I'd probably just resign. We yeah. we are good here. <laughs> yeah, we've We're seen enough. <laughs> Oh my uh, god, I just threw two gold for the entry. I'm just like, Uh, courtier and what? Action coins? Courtier and what? Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah, man. Am I cool? Yeah! <laughs> um, courtier <laughs> and. Uh, let's do action buy, maybe? Yeah, action buy. And... Action coins. And you can lose that menage. And... I think I got the fourth one. Alright. Have a workshop. Okay, we're gonna do this to take a swindler, a courtier, and another courtier. Nope, can't do that. Ghost town. And uh, what else do I want? <clears throat> A single province doesn't really hurt me that much, and I would feel a lot better with a point lead. I mean, I have a point lead. I'd feel a lot better with a less reproachable point lead. And I can't... Well, the other thing is I can't think about what what else makes my deck that much better. Oh, actually, no, the courtier makes it a good deal better. There you go. Let's take the courtier, I think. Yeah. I think the courtier is better, but the key is you have to think for a second about taking the courtier, whereas the province was uh, just like, you just click it, and then the courtier is more like, well... You gotta think for a Yeah, that's a lot of extra steps that you're asking me to take. Yeah, man. This gold. Developing gold is probably pretty good here. I mean, Draw develop fiber. developing gold is like usually a pretty good thing to do, but here, you know, it's especially good. I really have to hope the ghost towns save this hand. Hey. Fuck you. Actually, that menagerie was exactly what I wanted to draw, so double fuck you. and a cordy and what I guess a gold or a spindy spindlar swindies spindler sure I guess. <laughs> So the big question on my mind is can I win this turn and that just got answered okay definitely um, can with a big no, uh, because you trashed my menagerie. Well, because I didn't draw a menagerie is more specifically what I'm talking about. Um, 
Oh. Okay. Well, there that goes. What? You didn't, you didn't lose points. I'm pretty sure I lost points. No, your score was seven a second ago. Oh. Yes. Yeah, I guess you I got did not. Five menageries then. Yeah, you're. You did not lose points on that. Sweet. Um. Hang on a minute. Uh. So let's see. If I do that. You should give me a swindler. Then I... Oh man, I'm really close to being able to win this turn. Yeah. So I was like, I was one buy slash gain slash whatever away from winning the game like three different ways that turn. So I should be able to win the game this turn unless something weird happens. Let's find out if something weird happens. Oh, you could easily take a point lead, too. Easily. Not even, like, trivially, even. So easy. It's child's play, really. Like, if you don't do it, you're just bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. It's It would be incorrect not to take a point. All right. Yeah. It's funny because I can see that, like, the C word, uh, not cunt, correct, um, the, uh, that you dislike yeah. so much, yeah, people using to talk about Dominion, like, I understand both sides of that because I think, like, most of the time when people use it, it was fairly reasonable to talk about it, a way to talk about it. But then uh, every now and, and then somebody will say something like truly asinine that doesn't make sense. Like the correct answer is fifteen percent or like something like that. Because <laughs> um, like somebody will be like, "Yeah, that's the correct play." It's like it's clear what they mean by that. They're talking about like this is the optimal play to maximize your odds of winning, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, this is the play that considers the most relevant variables, things like that. But then somebody will be like, the correct number of time, number of silvers to gain is... It's like, well, shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about. Like, um... So I understand. I think most of the time when people say it, it's fine. But the few times when it's not fine, it's so not fine that I get it. It's like, all turn You just sound like an idiot. Yeah. You just sound like an idiot. No, not you. In oh, okay, okay. You just sound like an idiot when you 
You sound like not just not necessarily an idiot. You sound like you are trying too hard to sound like you know what you're talking about. Hey, I wanted that. Uh, oh God! I just got punished. Oh! I can't I did the tell. same thing I gave you crap for doing, and I could have won. I could have won if I just taken the buy on the courtier. I could win the game now because of this. Ooh. Oh, what? Give me a ghost. Give me a ghost town, and then yeah. Ah! Uh, I, I would have needed both of these, so it, it, it would have been uh, Anyway. Ah! Uh, I was gonna get a panic province. That's so fucking horrible. I'm still getting I the think panic I, province. I think I just went from, like, absolutely winning to absolutely losing, just because of how the swindlers worked out. Uh, well, that was bad. It was fucking terrible. Card. You can rebuy the swindler. Yeah, I can rebuy the Swindler, I can't rebuy the Menagerie, and, like, I just... I went from absolutely going to win this game to now it's a stretch because of what Swindler hit. Like, the Swindler here is definitely a big deal. Um, action coins. Uh, let's do action buy. And then you, that's not what we needed to have happen. Um, can have that. Okay. Fuck me. Um, In the swindler back. This is so annoying. Um, buy coins. I don't really want to gold my deck. Okay. So. <clears throat> yeah. I, oh, I do win the game, don't I? Uh, province, ghost town, ghost town, overlord. Yeah. 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 Definitely gonna win. Definitely. Yeah. Exactly what happened. Oh, I got a 5-2. Now I get to see what this is like. <laughs> um, I think I still do develop Overlord no matter what. Is that what you would do on a 5-2? Um, you there? Oh. Probably. Yeah. I mean, of course the 2-5 is worse because you can't even do that. Oh, nice! And my develop misses all the estates. I mean, this certainly isn't the first kingdom I've seen revolve around Courtier as the end game. Like, whoever, the person who wins is the person who plays more Courtiers. Um, but, like, of course, there's a lot that, that's just the result. Like, there's a lot that goes into it. Like, the person who wins is the person who plays more Courtiers because it was a good idea to play more Courtiers. At least that's my take, is that Courtier is the end game card to play around. Okay, 
so what is this? Um, do I thin, or do I just play ghost ship? This was bad. Okay. Cool. Draw develop. Did not draw develop. Um... We're gonna grab the second overlord. Boy, what? No, really? You're not. not. You resign. Wicked bad draws. I, mean, I, I was about to resign. Something out here. <laughs> okay. And I want to give it a chance. I think you. Chance there. For the okay. I understand if you wanted to test it against like a deck that's like doing what it's supposed to do. But, like, man, I was about to resign. I'm really surprised to see you resign. Okay. Um, devil up. Povey. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, this sucks. Are you playing big money like I had had questions about? Yeah. I'm glad that somebody's doing that because I am curious about it. Um, and I think that that affects the way that I need to play. Um, so I have a develop coming up, right? Um, or do I? No, I don't think I do. Let's get the swindler. Uh, I did. Cool. I'm bad at this game. I was thinking about getting a pilgrim there. Pilgrimage might be good, right? Let's thin that. Give you a curse. Oh, wait, what? No! That's what I was trying to give. That's what I was trying to give you. What did that's I not so? What develop does. Oh, whoops! I have a swindler. In, okay, I have a swindler in my hand, and I was thinking about which one to play. Look, don't judge me. All right. I'm judging you, bro. I'll judge you, your fucking baby. Okay. Don't make me. Just the fuck out of him. Boom, problem. All right. Um, so, what? Do I just thin a copper and be okay with that? Um, or do I do this? That's right. I didn't want that. <laughs> but... Oh, that did cost you a province, didn't it? Nope. Are you sure? Yes. Oh. Huh. Whatever. Um... Oh no! 
Crusher's Copper. Uh, Wandering Winter just joined the table. <laughs> He's gonna wonder about what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, yes! I skipped your Overlord! Get wrecked, nerd! <laughs> it's so incredibly wrecked. Damn it. Ha. That's what you get for playing for playing Swindler after Ghost Ship. Yeah. Yeah. Just got a hardcore wreck. What you need to do is check yourself before you wreck yourself. Let's do that. <clears throat> and we will what all right uh action coins um Buy coins and hmm. Let's see, um, I think I need another ghost town for eight. Possibly. Or maybe a courtier. Get a province. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's fine. I'm going to draw the deck either way. Yeah, this does play weirdly different. This does play different when you're not being contested. Like, you do, I think different stuff is good. But that's most strategies in Dominion, right? You did it in your turn, bro? I did. Oh, there it goes. Sweet Hawaiian gold. Yeah, obviously it's way more important to discard attack your opponent if you are if he's playing big money, but that's you know, again, just Dominion in a nutshell. Questions about the kingdom and big money being answered because mine are. Whenever you want to resign, it's okay. Uh, I'm <laughs> okay. winning. Yeah. No, I'm glad we did this for the record. I was going to be curious about this if we didn't. We're no, he doesn't, is the problem. Yes, <laughs> He's he ter does. He's terrible at money. Look. Counterfeit's not on the board. 
Rats is not, not on the board. board. Rats is fine if there's no masquerade. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you count him out, okay? I'm counting him out, man. <laughs> he plays like militia big money, okay? But he doesn't do it well, like. What do you mean? I he don't. He probably plays militia big money perfectly. Uh, okay, probably <laughs> he does, but well, no, that ignores ignoring game context. Like, I don't know. Um. I probably needed to play that Swindler first, but I'm bad at Dominion, so I didn't. Um, let's see. Yeah. Oh, um, you just got wrecked so hard! I don't think I care. Uh, the province! Did you see? The province. Bagoosh! Yeah. That's true, man. Uh, I got you. You got got. If you want to resign now, I would get it. Yeah. And Pilgrimage becomes a really good card when you're not being contested on the Menageries and what have you. I bought a Menagerie last turn. Wait, you bought a Menagerie last turn? That's right, I did. Why did you do that? Because you're playing a discard attack. Ah, right, yeah. Uh, huh? uh this is annoying. Um Okay, so... New Swindler, huh? New Swindler. Are you afraid? Yes. Okay. Correct, I am. So we're gonna do Courtier. I got him, guys. Go ship. And... What else? Courtier, go ship, and Menagerie? Sure. Um. <clears throat> What's my next buy? Could possibly get another swindler or a ghost town. Let's take a swindler. Yeah, you need one of those. A swindler. Mm hmm. Boom. <clears throat> nice. That's why you lose. Damn it. Yeah, that one was actually annoying for you.
Mm. Well, I actually could have won the game if I had known that was going to happen. It seems to be the theme of this game, though, doesn't it? Um... You have no way to empty more than one province from the supply, right? I do. How do you do that? I would play a little bit more and switch hit your province. My province is mine. Observe. Okay. <laughs> Got him. Nice. Got him. Nice, nice. Nice. Jake? Huh? I'm winning. You got that right, man. Alright. <clears throat> you know, this is BS. Your audio quality just, like, shot way downhill, by the way. Yours has been a lot worse. Like, first, and, like, I'm staring at a problem. Yeah, okay, but, like, I would have played differently if you had been close to no, taking the point lead. No, you wouldn't have. You would have played exactly the same and lost the game, Jake. That's we not true. Know. We okay. both know that. <laughs> so you got me there. All right. Well, my question about the kingdom has been answered. 